Welcome to Mammoth. And while I'm here, I'm really gonna be focusing on capturing the beautiful landscapes of Mammoth. Me and my family are gonna be here for about five days and there's just so much beautiful nature, landscapes and vibes to capture here at these beautiful lakes. Look at the reflection. It is so pronounced and it just makes for some incredible compositions. And although I didn't get any photos of like actual sunrise, we're still able to get some really great photos because the area is just straight up gorgeous. When you're here, especially for me, when I'm on this trip with my family, that's kind of all I'm focused on. It's just not too worried about the lighting, but just capturing what I see around me because that's the only thing that I have control and in my power. Dude, Cam, I was, uh, I was like way on the other side, uh -huh. like over there. I'm not taking videos of you guys. Did you catch me catching though? the branch, bro? I just saw you throw it out. <laughs> I was stuck there for 20 minutes trying to get it out and then we lost a lure. But. He loses. It's like you lose golf balls, you lose lures. Go for it. Oh, Dude, did you catch another gosh, branch? Don't worry about it. <laughs> it was really nice just waking up early in the morning and experiencing the beautiful lakes of Mammoth. And I actually ended up catching a fish. The pole was right next to me and it caught on and there was no one else to be able to catch it. So. I end up reeling in the fish, but no, I don't like fishing. That's just not my vibe. I don't like killing things. I guess that's why I'm a landscape photographer, but we're going hiking in the next part. And normally this wouldn't be that crazy, except this is one of the craziest hikes of my life. Up next, hiking. The hike started out fine. It was around a five mile hike from Devil's Post Pile to Rainbow Falls, and it seemed to be a pretty popular hike. It was incredibly aesthetic, beautiful, and there's a lot of photos I was able to take. And especially once we got to the waterfall, it was just absolutely immaculate. That waterfall was deep. You can just feel the water and the amount of pressure that it creates. And it ended up being some pretty nice photos overall. But then once we started headed back, that's when we got into some trouble. And I'll just let me explain. It is currently thundering. And uh, I don't know how to feel about that because the last time we were in Mammoth, I think like, like 10 years ago or something, it also thundered on this exact hike. I don't know what's uh, going on here, but it needs to chill out. It just started raining and thundering out of nowhere, and I swear I felt like someone was gonna get hit. It was a pretty gnarly experience and something that happened to us before, but I guess that's just a mammoth thing. It's been raining and thundering here all this weekend, and even once we got to the bus stop, it just would not stop. But we knew we were finally safe once we got back onto the bus. But that's when things just got even crazier. So the shuttle we took to get to our hiking location ended up dropping us back off at the Adventure Center is what they called it. But we didn't bring a car and the last shuttles to go from the Adventure Center back down to our hotel. They weren't running anymore. We called them, we called Ubers, we tried to call a taxi. I don't remember the last time I tried to call a taxi. We were stranded and we didn't have a ride. And we kind of concluded that the only way to get all of us back in one piece after this five mile hike was for me to run four miles back to our hotel down the mountain to go get a car and bring it back up. I don't know if you guys know this about me, I actually run a lot, that is my main form of exercise, but I ended up running four miles at an 8.45 pace to go get our car and bring it back. I put my family on my back. That was just absolutely nuts. Our savior. This man ran three miles. We're safe. Oh, interview, 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 interview. Car side interview. Mr. Shimo Kawa, how does it feel that you ran three miles? It was 4.2, 4.2. 4.2, how was the time, how quick your mileage was? I got it was the only numbers. 12 minutes. How no, do you feel it, about it? I had to find the car. I had to find the car. Oh, the oh. The car had to be found, but I have oh. the, I have tracked my run. I tracked my run, look at my run. Dude, let's see, let's see the run, let's see the run. Four, four miles. At an 8.45 pace, that's kind of slow. We gotta lock in, we gotta lock in. He walked in. Locked in. Wow. That's He's locked cool. in, let's go, let's go. I'm telling you, weightlifting can't do that. What? That's the first one I think I saw. Holy crap, Yosemite is absolutely gorgeous. I mean, the amount of valleys, meadows, different types of landscapes that are here are just unlike anywhere else. I am truly blown away by this place. 
And this is a place I need to come back to for sure. And this first stop here at Yosemite, we're going to be going to this little lookout. And from here, there is so many different landmarks that you can see. The most obvious one is Half Dome way in the back. And this is especially a nice opportunity for me to use my telephoto lens, the 28 to 400 with the Z30. And this is really able to isolate those mountain peaks and showcase off some different unique compositions and get a perspective that you normally wouldn't be able to see. But in every family trip that I've gone on, I've always taken a portrait of my mom and my dad. Three, two, one. And so here's the one that I got. Really beautiful, especially with Half Dome in the back. I cooked. Look at this. But on the other side of the Half Dome area, you can see that there's this valley that converges right in the center of a lake. And that is an absolutely stunning photo. And actually, we're gonna be going to that lake next. Because especially after the day before when we went on that crazy hike, I think we all just need some time to relax and chill. And actually, I think I took one of my best photos at this time because I was trying my best to take a really nice wide angle photo of the entire lake, but just couldn't do it because I got too much of the shore in the frame or there's just too many people. So I did what any rational photographer would do take their camera out into the middle of the lake. But here I was able to see some incredible foreground elements with these rocks and because we're shooting really wide, it just looks nice and exaggerated. And the photo ended up coming out absolutely stunning. But that's pretty much the only photo that I took and I just decided, you know what, we gotta relax. And then more playing in the water and then off to the meadows. <laughs> And the meadows in Yosemite is just absolutely insane. It's like textbook, picture perfect. And because we're in the middle of the day around three o'clock, we were getting the harshest sun. And with this harsh lighting, it really made the greens and the blues pop. And man, Yosemite, I mean, this place is just absolutely insane. The different types of unique landscapes that you're able to capture in this beautiful national park had just so much variation. And I think it makes for such a fun place to come capture landscape photography. I simply can't believe that it was the final day of our mammoth trip and it felt like everything just went by in a blur. But we did end up stopping off at one hot creek site where the water was very hot and it smelled like eggs. So I don't know how much you would really want to go and explore that, but it was very interesting to see and actually captured a handful of photos there. But yeah, right after that, we ended up going home and just calling it a day. I mean, this is one of the best photography trips that I've been on in a really long time. I was really able to focus on capturing the beautiful lakes I actually captured some of my most favorite photos I think I've ever taken. And if there's somewhere that you want to see me go to, let me know down in the comment section down below. Thank you so much for experiencing the world with me today, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. All the baby ducks, Can I eat they're them? eating all the baby ducks. Can I eat the ducks? They're eating the fish. Can I eat the duck? <laughs>